back to the software testing tips and tricks channel. So in this video we will talk about alpha versus beta testing. So in previous videos we have already discussed sanity testing, smoke testing, unit integration system testing, white box testing, black box testing, functional and non-functional testing. So in this uh, uh, video we will talk about uh, alpha versus beta testing. So mostly in interviews they all ask like what is alpha testing, beta testing. Even though you are doing alpha and beta testing, you, you may not aware how to exactly answer that when we are doing this, who will do this. So in this video we will uh, discuss this with a simple anomaly. I will give, uh, I will tell you the story and uh, you will like that I think. So with the story you will never forget the concept as well and it will be easy to understand. So before starting, please subscribe this channel and share it to your QA friends. Uh, so let's start. So for example, you are going to a verdict function. So in uh, uh, whenever uh, the function is there, they are making uh, lots of food items. So especially with uh, uh, gravies and sauces, they had to do so much experiments. So when they are cooking gravy, they keep on asking some other guy like, can you please test it like if salt is less or sugar is less so that guy tells like, okay add little bit sugar add little bit uh, salt add little bit uh, different uh, ingredients he himself also testing and after he thinks like it is good he gives some other fellow like can you please test uh, test it and both decide like okay now it is fine so once gravy is made uh, what they do they like uh, when gravy is perfectly made they ask someone from the uh, who have not tested uh, till now and ask them like uh, can you please test so all test something and check like okay this is fine now so once uh, all have done like all the uh, chefs have tested that and they finalize like this is fine what they do they from the wedding they ask some important person like uh, groom's parents or bride's parents or some relatives uh, uh, they call four or five people to test it like if it is fine or not so for the, those four or five people confirms like now nah, this is okay or they need to do something change so based on their feedback after once everybody is agrees they go to the uh, table and everybody enjoys the food so here what we learn like so when that guy is cooking he is developing so when he asks some fellow uh, to test it, so he, he is the tester for that item and they do functional testing or system testing what we do. Once both uh, agrees and uh, done the project, means uh, made the sources, so they ask other chef to test and that is their internal testing which is what we call alpha testing. So we will go by definition but this is the concept and once they call groom's parents or bride's parents and everybody test that and once they confirm that is beta testing you are inviting your customers to test it so that is your beta testing and after that like uh, it goes to public so uh, I hope you like this story now let's go by definition so alpha testing is like uh, acceptance testing done by internal team just before releasing the product so this is the simplest definition I can make so uh, like once your software is ready like developers and QA agreed like now we have solved all the bugs uh, internal bugs and all uh, now it's time for release so they just uh, before release they just make sure like everything the functionality what we are providing those are working or not they don't do negative testing or those uh, testing again they just do acceptance testing so that is uh, what we call alpha testing so entry and exit criteria for alpha testing is entry is when developer and QA uh, and team uh, agrees like this is pro this uh, product is developed now. So once they all agree and it is they make it is ready for release that is the entry criteria. Once it is ready for release everybody does acceptance testing and uh, uh, where uh, alpha testing starts. In exit criteria is like once everybody does uh, uh, this alpha testing and uh, all the bugs they they could find are solved that is the exit criteria so now beta testing i can make the definition is like also type of acceptance testing only but that is done by real users so beta testing is like done on customer side so we enable beta for some of the customers who are important or they agreed like they will do beta testing or they are eager to get the new features so we ask them like okay guys uh, we have enabled specially 
for you this new features you can try it out and give us the feedback so once they try it out in two weeks one month based on the project uh, they will give you the feedback like okay this looks nice or this may i think need to change or something like that so that is what we call beta testing the entry and exit criteria is same like once acceptance testing is done and uh, we have product is ready for enable in different environments then it is the entry criteria and exit is like once all the users whom we have provided beta testing functionality once all they agree like okay this is good there is no measurable and the one more thing is uh, when they are doing uh, their testing like where, when we enable for this customers so when customers are using their product developer team keeps of monitoring logs and other things like uh, if they are getting any errors or uh, any crash or something if it is mobile application they are checking play store reviews and all so if you are uh, using android application you have heard like in play store you can subscribe for beta version so i am the beta tester for whatsapp facebook and some other important application so you can ask like uh, uh, enable beta so whenever the beta version comes it directly comes to you and you can try it out before everybody else so that is a way you can do beta testing in real life for other products as well so what are the differences so alpha versus beta testing so this is alpha testing is done by internal testing and uh, it is white box plus black box testing so developers and QA both do their jobs to test like to make sure like everything was fine this is done before the release of the final product it is done on internal devices and environments whereas beta testing is done by real users so you are providing your application to the real users and they try it out if it is enterprise product you ask uh, your customers to install it and try it out it is a black box testing because uh, real users don't have the call to test and final product is released but not given to all the users so in this stage like a final product is done and all everything is done but it is uh, enabled for only few users and uh, real users device and environments it is done so they use their own devices and environments and give us the feedback so if you go through the chart like uh, we first we do unit test then we do integration testing once integration everything integrated we do system testing once system is testing is done and all the bugs are fine we and we are ready for release we go for alpha testing and once alpha testing is done all the bugs are solved and team agrees and we have environment and everything set up we go for beta testing once beta testing done we only need to do is uh, release the product uh, for all the users so this is the what uh, we have uh, uh to discuss like in alpha testing and beta testing so if you have any doubt you can feel free to comment it out and please subscribe this channel and uh, share it to your qa friends also in social media uh, we have channels like uh, in twitter i am active so you can go through twitter all and if you like that you can follow me on twitter and uh, we have facebook page as well like we get the memes here so if you enjoy the memes don't uh, forget to like this page and follow this page so that's it thank you guys